Hello there, Pisces, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course, Pisces, we're going to be channeling out all that we can from spirit when it comes to your current situation for Pisces in sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We got purification. So this is a good thing. Wow. Look at this. And a rebirth. So whatever's going on, Pisces, this is a time for you to feel good, to feel renewed, to enjoy the rain, enjoy, you know, whatever challenges that you've gone through in the past, because a lot of you, you need to know that you're doing a wonderful job and a rebirth is like happening. Some of you, you might already be in this new energy, okay, because it's really close. Also, I am seeing Empress with this rebirth here. So a lot of you, you might have already been doing this. Now, some of you, you need to take care of yourself, nurture yourself, do things that make you feel, you know, more beautiful or more handsome. Okay. Whatever feels good and right to you. So this is a time to give into your dreams, your wishes, and know that your future is headed in a bright place here. Now there could be something with spring and we even, we even have that rain. So like I'm getting this thing about, you know, uh, spring, um, or showers, something about anyhow, I'm seeing something about my money. This is like my point here. So maybe in the spring, okay, wherever you're at, whatever time or whenever you get this, I feel that there may be a boost of energy, maybe an increase in your resources, including money in the season of spring. Okay. All right. Now let's continue and see what else you need to know for Pisces. Yeah, you are coming out of a period of stagnation as well. You are seeing signs from heaven. Do not doubt this. You are also embodying this earth angel, star seed, light worker, whatever you resonate with. Okay. You've got um, a beautiful gift. You've got a beautiful energy. So just nurture that. Okay. You definitely see signs from heaven. You are an earth angel. This is so funny because uh, we I just did Sagittarius's reading and Sagittarius kind of had this energy going on too. Um, or connecting to someone that has this energy. So you could possibly meeting some, meet someone or be dealing with someone that has strong Sagittarius placements, or you could possibly um, have that as well. And you may resonate with Sagittarius's reading in this series, but don't worry about that. Cause most important thing is that you are gifted. You are loved. You are cherished. Your loved ones in heaven are sending you messages, guidance, signs. So some of you, you may have detox or you may be feeling, you know, guided to detox uh, things out of your life or to keep things pure right now. Okay. Because some type of new alignment is happening with you and your energy and your energy is going into a higher vibration here. So you are being blessed by the angels. A lot of you, you know, you've been praying and doing the work to, you know, be more like an earth angel. Okay. It doesn't mean you're perfect. Okay. It just means that, you know, you, you definitely hold beautiful, sacred energy that is healing for yourself and others. Okay. And you are being shown how to utilize that energy, your energy in the best possible way. What else for Pisces? <clears throat> Now I am seeing someone that's sleeping here, you know, with this purification, you've gone through a tremendous amount of, you know, energy work, which, you know, has uh, an effect on our physical self. So if you're feeling tired, well, take care of yourself, tend to yourself because you have been purifying and allowing something new to birth within yourself and your situation. Okay. Making a choice. So some of you, you might be uh, feeling, you know, a little at a crossroads here, or uh, there may be a couple of choices up ahead. So let's get a little bit more with making a choice for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to making a choice? Hmm. 
instinct oh my gosh and it's the wolf spirit so cute because wolf is here too you got to use your instincts when it comes to your choices right now okay there it's very strong so do what feels right either now or what what's to come here okay because your path is the one that you choose and you do have a strong ability as an earth angel I mean, look at how connected you are to spirit guides, angels, and nature angels here to help guide you. Use your instincts. What else? Studying and learning. Uh, thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. So this is why you're going through a rebirth, okay? And also, you need to expect to receive something, a, a gift, or maybe even a little promotion, or maybe something could get paid for you to study and learn, or you may uh, have more time or the money to dive into something, okay? Also... There is something new that's going on with a lot of you. I feel a lot of you are guides or teachers or you're being guided to do that, okay? And you are being guided to conserve your energy where you can. If you don't have to do something, if it's absolutely not necessary, then don't do it. You've got to, you know, I feel like not only conserve your energy, maybe conserve, you know, conserve your energy, conserve your time, conserve your money, your resources right now, because you are producing something later on that you're going to reap a lot of rewards and a good time of harvest. I sense earth sign coming through strong as well right now. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be connecting with someone that has strong earth placements Okay, and I feel that this is going to be some type of support for you on your path. And most likely you haven't met them yet. What else for Pisces? Cleaning house, starting something new. This is, I, I'm getting a new beginning here. So, you know, Pisces, maybe clean up or look around your environment. Some of you, you have been doing this and you need to know and honor that you are doing something really good. You're purifying, you're letting old energy go. You're tidying up. You're helping yourself, um, you know, energetically as well and allowing new fresh energy to come in. Clean house mentally as well, mentally, emotionally, physically. And yes, maybe we are cleaning house, okay? Maybe it's been a while. <clears throat> what else? And really it's because, you know, I see this as, you know, the rain is washing away, and you can look at it as sweeping, washing and sweeping away the extra d debris that you do not need. The miracle of nature. I was getting this nature energy here with this rebirth, which again, I feel is connected and associated with the empress energy here. So uh, be willing to get out. Maybe for some, if it's been a while since you've had some fresh air, make sure you are taking those breaks and reconnecting. You have a strong thing with nature, okay? And nature really uh, guides you, protects you, energizes you. And it's going to be important because a lot of you, you're, you're also doing something new here and creating something, you know, like a new habit and a new routine for yourself as well. That's only going to make you feel more abundant, nourished, healthy, so that you can give and tend to the things that matter to you. You could also be meeting someone. I'm getting like this thing about star energy. I know it's not out, but I, I sense something about... Uh, destiny lining someone up for you Pisces so you know make sure you're getting out there maybe it is time to be a little spontaneous as well for some of you if you feel like you've been in some type of rut or routine what else
strength. <laughs> I get like Leo uh, energy too, just looking at this as strength card. You know, she's, and she kind of looks like Empress to me as well. Anyhow, she's balancing on one foot, got one foot out here. You know, you could be doing something. I mean, this studying and learning could even be studying and learning about your own physical body, what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what's going to um, aid you in more... Um, you know, physical stamina or flexibility. So yeah, some of you, you could be starting a new, you know, fitness program or maybe a new activity that just gets you more, you know, in shape and feeling good. So there's, I mean, that's a positive thing. So there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm also seeing someone who's having to utilize a lot of strength in maybe inter internal strength to balance the outside world and all that's going on. You, you, know, you, you have this thing about rebirth, so we've got shifts and changes that are happening here, but you're more than capable of getting through it because look, you, you're not only have been purifying, getting rid of things, you know, you're tending to the present daily tasks of everyday things as well, right? Some of you have, you know, whole, a household uh, full of whatever, you know, children or, you know, furry children, you know, your responsibilities, whatever, okay? So know that you are uh, setting some type of strong foundation right now because you're really coming into understanding how much you can take, okay? So continue to stay focused as well. I feel that it's taking strength to focus because someone, you know, I'm noticing her looking straight ahead here and maintaining a sense of grace and balance. What else? shine your light oh my gosh okay you know what pisces i just want to bring this up now take it if it resonates it may not resonate for all of you but you know it's kind of weird because I, I i sense this mixture of you like leo and sagittarius in you so those three zodiac signs somehow are playing a part okay with you now Let's just get back to this. Shine your light. Now, well, okay. The other thing is maybe it's one or two people that you'll be connecting with. That's also important. That will help support you and shine your light. Okay. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me share my light with the world. Okay. I was picking up, you know, star energy. Okay. Star card, even though it's not out here, but you know, the star card is the star in the sky that is shining really bright. So yeah, you are meant to radiate and shine. Don't hide yourself. This is why I feel Spirit's probably pushing a lot of you to, you know, take care of your daily tasks and then, you know, get out there. Get out there a little bit more, okay? Have fun. Uh, also, don't be afraid of your own power, your own strength, okay? Have courage to step it, up, step it up or step it out into the world here. What else? The card just flipped over. Nice. Stepping it up and stepping it out. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you're stepping it up because he's not on the ground. He's not on the low ground there. He's up in the up on a cliff here where he can see far out into the horizon. So he's <laughs> step, stepping it up and then he's going to be stepping it out. Okay, because this is about expansion. This is about growth. This is about receiving what you need to to carry you further. More money, people. Uh, situations, you know, that help you gain more knowledge. You know, we even have that studying and learning. And also with the three of wands, I have to say, Pisces, you really do want to break out of old routines or habits, especially if you don't feel like it's giving you more growth. If you feel like something has been plateauing, then that is your cue to just change something up. It doesn't have to be anything extreme, but just be willing to be open, okay? To receiving uh, what you need to to help you change something or you know use your intuition and your instincts when it comes to changes here but with this three of wands you can expect to see your ships coming in you can expect to know that you deserve where you uh, where you're at because I feel a lot of you have done something where you've stepped it up okay you leveled up here in some area in your life so good we have fire sign coming through Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Now you could be 
off to experiencing maybe foreign things as well. What else for Pisces? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be experiencing foreign themes or it may even just feel foreign because damn, things are just going good and right. Um, expect a like a tidal wave of good things. Okay. And with the ride the wave, you've got something ushering into your life where you can literally ride the wave. I just feel like it's just some type of abundance that you need in your life for your situation that's going to help you move forward and really feel joy as you're doing it. Now, if you've been feeling alone, there's reasons why God puts you in positions to be alone, but you're not going to be alone for a long time, for a long here. You know, you got this other dolphin here. Um, you're also playing with dolphins. I feel that a lot of you, uh, Pisces have a strong association with the dolphin, uh, you know, spirit animal as well. Okay. So pay attention to that. Uh, those animals that are crossing your paths right now. What else for Pisces? Mountain. Hmm. So we do feel some type of obstacle. You know, and I, I look at the moon here. And the moon's making this mountain look bigger than it really is. <laughs> so think about that. The moon, you know, speaking of the moon, because the moon can bring out a lot of, you know, fears and worries. I mean... So it could exaggerate things, right? Especially, I mean, I don't know, you remember as a kid or maybe even now you go out at nighttime and man, things can just look a little scary and our imagination can make it look a lot worse than it really is. And then the next day the sun comes out, you're like, oh my God, that was just like a, that was only a tree. or <laughs> That's like a little bush or something right there. Anyhow, let's get a little bit more with this mountain for you, Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know when it comes to this mountain, this obstacle here? I, I also see that you're ascending. Look at the, oh, look at the wolf. <laughs> look at the wolf. The wolf is standing in front of that mountain. Okay, so the mountain is now behind a wolf spirit because you're using your instincts. <laughs> see? See, told you, you're going to get right in front of it. Whatever that obstacle is, I don't even need another card, but that's okay. I'll get one anyway, since I've got it in my hands. All right, let's see a little bit more with this mountain card for Pisces. Oh, this one's coming out. Okay, what has the sun? <laughs> what did I... Okay, Pisces, you can't make this up how a spirit is talking and communicating. <laughs> I just told you this whole thing about the moon. You know, it's like it, 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 it's, you know, the moon really is only shining on, is shining on that mountain because, you know, the moon just has so much light, right? But look what happens. We got the sun card, you got Pisces. This is sun. <laughs> what did I say? It's like smaller. Okay, so whatever needs to be exposed as well will be. Um, there could be a significant child that brings a lot of joy or a birth of a child or a birth of a new, you know, enterprise. I mean, literally, there's a new birth of life regardless that is very successful. And, and I, you know, I can't help but see like a uh, father figure here. And I was picking up this empress. So there's like this perfect match and blend that you are coming into. So the, the moon is actually a blessing because the moon is just spotting out these tiny little obstacles because that mountain is really a tiny little mountain. <laughs> it's just exposing what these little mountains and uh, obstacles uh, for you to just uh, be able to just st stomp, stomp on top of. I just see you stomping on top of it because you're standing up here where you belong in the limelight uh, and higher in your status, your situation and feeling good about what you're producing and what's coming into your reality. Some of you, this is, you know, you, some of you, um, this is not going to resonate for all of you, but I can see some of you like actually utilizing some type of, you know, hiking trip and wanting to go out into different mountains and stuff like that, or, you know, something about hiking and, and doing those things outdoors that would help bring, you know, positivity into your life. I feel, and who knows, maybe love and passion. What else for Pisces? Grounding. 
I see the tree of life here too. So I, I feel there's just so much that you're gonna that you are and that you will continue to be provided for no matter what. But it is important to ground. I don't know if I even brought that up. I felt like I kind of did, but maybe not. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> just with this whole thing of miracle of nature here, you know, you are receiving a lot of messages from um, all kinds of different areas in your life, right? Because you've got a lot going on. So it's going to be important that you stay consistent on something that helps ground you, whether it's meditating, exercising, um, connecting with your friends, you know, something that again is consistent. Okay. Maybe it's getting into water or, um, you know, eating a certain food, having a certain meal at a certain time, but also you're, you know, you've got this thing about you, you know, now I'm, I'm sensing emperor energy, you know, um, cause I feel like this is emperor inside of the sun card. And I get this thing about this mountain and this tree, like there's a structure, there's an energy that is very strong and it ain't budging. And that is like ener uh, emperor energy here. So there's something that spirit does not want you to back down on, like you were made for a position or you're coming into, um, you know, a more powerful position for yourself here. So stand your ground. Okay. Believe in yourself. What else? Sacred pool. We do deserve a little bit of a break here, Pisces. There's something with water, you know, <laughs> you're riding the wave, playing in water, whatever you're doing. If you notice, she's that being there. I don't know if it's a he or she, but <clears throat> anyways, uh, laying on the surface of that water, allowing things to just flood over because you've gone through this uh, process of purification. And now we're just at this place of just really enjoying and soaking up the sense of renewal, uh, feeling good, feeling sacred, and you're drawing in really positive energies when you're in this place. So some of you may need to create or have a place that you can go to, okay? Your own sacred pool. I just feel you're working with water in some way, shape or form, okay? I don't know if it's like something you're drinking, maybe something you're infusing, uh, something that you're swimming in. Okay. Whatever is sacred to you, do it. Honor that. I, I was seeing Empress energy here earlier. So I just feel there's this message about, you know, taking care of yourself and doing things that, you know, make you feel good and inspired too. All it, sometimes all it takes is our own self to be our own best friend and cheerleader. Um, and, and watch your energy start to really shift too. What else for Pisces? And I, I see someone who's in just being able to relax because you, you've done some work here. So we get to watch our ships come in from your past efforts. Blessings are happening here. Take time. Wow. Pause and reflect and take time. This is so funny. It landed right on the uh, signs from heaven and the earth angel. And there's literally an angel here up here while you are taking a rest. Okay. Receiving your blessings. So this is a time that you're meant to uh, kind of sense Maybe uh, be in the, the energy of passive, but yet you're vigilant on taking care of yourself here. So you're not just like, you know, allowing just anything to happen here because we are in a protected place, a protected shelter here. We've, you know, I, I'm sacred, this sacred pool here. Let's get more with the Four of Swords. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get more with the four of swords. There's some type of justice happening uh, for you with this. You're receiving blessings to make the, uh, something balance out right here in your life. Okay. There's a card that flipped over. It's a uh, three of swords. You are healing uh, some type of disappointing situation in the past here. Okay. And taking the time to do that. Wow. It's like three of swords. And then you got the four of swords here. There could have been, you know, not all of you, maybe someone involved here where we had hurt and betrayal. Now, there's also something coming through too. 
I sense this thing about longing and yearning for this companion or this partnership, and you're going to be receiving that. This is the blessings that spirit wants you to get into and know and trust and believe. Have faith that your prayers are being answered. Also, your angels, earth angel, is sending you a lot of uh, energy healing and blessings your way. When you're not fighting against or doing anything against um, the flow right now, that's how you get in tune with receiving it. And also your divine messages from your angels and uh, your loved ones from ab above, signs from heaven. What else? Now, what's funny too, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I was talking about... I was pretty sure I was talking about one or two people and I'm just noticing in this three of swords, there's like these two people here. So uh, you're going to be blessed with two, like two people. I feel in your life. If, if you don't have that yet, what else for Pisces? Oh, look at this. <laughs> the veil. The fog is going to be lifting, okay, right? And that sun is coming out and breaking those fog and the cloud. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy it. I mean, what the hell? We can't fight it anyways. You're going to go and try to dissipate the fog. Uh, good luck trying to do that. That's Mother Nature's job, right? And that's where we just got to give up and let, let it go. Now, Pisces, you earth angel, you seeing signs and really being in tune with things here because you are naturally gifted and you've got this special ability. Your, you know, the veil between you and the spiritual realm is very thin. So this is a time that you want to send your prayers, your affirmations, whatever you need to, to the angelic realm, to the other side. Okay. Cause they're right there. This is a time to do that. And sometimes when we get fogged in, it's on purpose so that you do take time to redirect your energy, or take time to heal, take time to meditate on the next thing, or even just take time to be in your blessings. Because sometimes what happens when we're constantly on the go or we're constantly trying to get goals, we can like miss out on the things that we've accumulated, you know, so far. Spiritually, materially, doesn't matter completion gosh isn't this perfect i feel that this is perfect you got the full moon too and look at the tree oh my gosh look at you grounding you know completing it's like you you're right where you need to be pisces and you're only going to keep getting bigger and stronger you okay look at this i pretty soon you're you're this tree okay pretty soon you're gonna take up that whole moon i mean this is how grounded and rooted you have become with something that is super sacred and important for you you are completing a cycle here and you're ready for something new this is why you're looking out onto the horizon here looking out to the future and being positive expecting good stuff good news good situations good people oh this oh sorry about the camera all right i'm gonna fix this for a second here whoops that's a little bit better isn't that yeah okay what else for pisces you got a commitment oh i can see this is about making a choice so pisces Really think about this thing because there is a commitment on its way. And for a lot of you, it can involve love. Absolutely. But whatever this commitment is, honor it, nourish, nourish it and take care of it. I want to see what was behind this. Oh, this is, this, is this is why you, you do, you have a new agreement. I, okay. I really sense justice card with this because there's a sense of this whole new beginning. You've completed some type of situation in your life here. Now you're coming into a whole new place. Remember, you've done this, a process of purification, letting the old go. I mean, it just happens anyways, naturally, but I feel a lot of you are not resisting it. And so you're, you're really coming into a whole new alignment, a whole new agreement, a whole new partnership also see the hand of God here holding your hand too. So 
a lot of you, you, you know, you're just strengthening your relationship to God, to your higher self, you know, whatever you believe in, but um, a higher force here, okay? And you're going to receive exactly what you need now. Just like those cactuses, they are resilient. They know how to, you know, utilize their resources. Remember we were talking about that, Pisces? You, you, you want to... You really want to take inventory, I feel, as you're doing the Four of Swords, as you're, you know, mentaplating. Oh my God, that's my, that's a new word. You know what mentaplating is? That's going to be contemplation and meditation mixed into one. That's so funny. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Remember we're talking about, you know, uh, conserving your time, your resources, including your money, your energy. And that's exactly what you're doing because it's helping you guys get through some type of transition where you know you get your miracles and blessings here so don't worry if you don't see nothing yet you you're like wide open for this opportunity that is nearing very soon what else oh this card is this card was kind of laying over here it was off of the other cards so we'll look at that in a second here oh told I, I i mean i know i know i know spirit see look spiritual gifts <laughs> you are really channeling gifts and talents you're just getting stronger here remember you're going through this powerful rebirth and it's only making your uh, talents and your gifts stronger so thank yourself thank the angels for helping you okay archangel raziel thank you for helping me channel my gifts and talents here nine of cups nine of cups wow <laughs> shining your light receiving wish fulfillments as well not only that but you're also enjoying and feeling yourself and others feeling satisfied you also have plenty like plenty so if you're not feeling plenty full you will you're powerful you're a lot more powerful i feel than you realize We've got water sign coming through, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else? Oh my gosh, unconditional love. The Divine Mother. Ooh, I haven't seen her come out for a while. So we got Divine Mother. Remember I was getting Empress? So we could be, we could be healing some mother or, um, it's mostly like a mother energy that I'm getting whether we have the lack of that or whether we're going through that ourselves. Now it could be another feminine too that you guys have healed or healing. It could be a sister, you know, significant mother energy. But the Divine Mother is wrapping you with so much love. This is why I feel a lot of you, when you get out into nature and you're outside more, you feel this uh, powerful force at play here. So, so thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. So... This is about you, um, you know, receiving what you need that helps strengthen you. So you're actually, see, this is why I get this thing about you being um, in the, re the, the receptivity mode where you're not chasing and going after and having to force something, okay? Because it's like you're meant to have your cup filled here. And that's exactly what you are being given here from the spiritual realm and the, the, the divine mother because you are meant to have a like feel this continuous flow of um you know energy here because you do have special gifts and abilities that require you to not feel depleted it's just it's important for your path and it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we're not going to get you know a little depleted at times but when you do get depleted that's your cue to t just take a little bit uh, take a moment and pause okay because you are the king or the queen of cups pisces and uh the queen of cups and the, the king of cups can tend to forget to take care of their own needs especially when they're taking care of others and that might be a lesson for you what else for Pisces? Shape-shifting. We got the clouds. You know, 
Okay, I can't help but look at the uh, Three of Wands where like cloud watching, shape shifting. You too are shape shifting. As you are having a rebirth, a lot of you are reinventing yourself. So don't be afraid to try on things or open yourself up to new things. I feel that spirit is really pushing a lot of you Pisces to get out of a habit or a routine, maybe even trying different foods or different drinks, even those little tiny little things. But also, you know, I keep getting this thing about you being connected to the animal kingdom in strong ways. And so, you know, how you take on or learn from the animal kingdoms, but also whatever is showing up in the clouds here, you know, it's either for pleasure or who knows, you could be seeing and receiving messages that way. So take time to do that. You know, the fog is there for a reason. What else? Wow, that card was just like, hmm, oh, time for a deep freeze. Okay, look at the lion. Okay, we have that card of strength, which I, didn't we, yeah, which I associate with like a Leo <laughs> zodiac sign with, if this was tarot, but you do notice the, um, you notice the lion is sleeping. So yes, it is time to pause and freeze here. I mean, there's either a wave that's happening now or a wave is going to usher you and it's going to carry you. So you might as well just be in that energy. Okay. So take that time. You don't have to force or push anything. What happens after the, well, and also look at the sun, the sun's here, right? The sun's going to thaw that out when, and it's due time. What else? Whoa, 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 whoa. Shape shifting and oh my gosh, look at this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is like even carving out and shape, shaping the clouds. You're gonna have some type of incoming change here. So you are going to have to think quick on your feet. I do feel someone is coming towards you, Pisces, okay? And this could bring about some type of lifestyle change but I can tell you for sure, it's gonna require you to uh, think on your feet, uh, trust in your decision, okay? And also don't be afraid to keep moving forward here because I do feel a lot of you, you're doing something that's honorable and it is taking a lot of courage to keep, you know, standing your ground and, you know, looking towards the future, but you are doing a really good job. Someone probably has, okay, now, this is another story too for some of you Pisces, so take it if it resonates. Some of you guys could have had this dealing with someone too that was just, it was hard. Um, the Knight of Swords, if this is not a really good energy, then we could be you know, battling against someone that just is constantly, constantly thinking they're right. Whether they are or not, it's just they can't, they can't budge either. So, you know, they're... They could be really impulsive um, and acting out. Also, for some of you, you know, the Knight of Swords, there's a lot of fast move movement. And I'm just getting this thing that you don't want to go too fast, so watch out for that. What else? I also, I also see God in this card, in the sun card. Like God is telling you, Pisces, that your loved ones, your possessions, you are safe and protected in heaven here. King of Swords. Okay. Now, was I getting a card? Okay. Well, this kind of came out. King of Swords. Take time to absorb a lot of energy too. So we got something, we got a fair man here as well. So I'm getting something about fairness. I am getting something about fairness. You could uh, end up with someone that has strong air placements in their uh, zodiacs or in their chart, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But there's something about you having authority and having a final say. Some of you may need to remain objective right now, especially, especially if you feel... I'm just looking at the lion because if you piss off the lion, the lion, you know, you never know. Is the lion going to react in a bad way impulsively or in a masterful way where we can just kind of let something ride out? Maybe you don't need to give into it, right? We don't need to fuel the fire any bigger, right? Now, I, I do want 
a little bit more too with the king of swords since he decided to just pop up and reveal himself because this could be a mystery person that's exposed to you because i'm seeing that moon card or that moon energy so anyhow let's get a little bit more let's see what spirit will give us with this king of swords what do you want pisces to know when it comes to this king of swords Oh, something or someone will become flexible if you haven't dealt with that before. Give us more. Oh, okay. There's a couple of cards that fell out. Uh, the Hermit and the Two of Pentacles. So we are coming out of a change. I got to show you guys this. It's either you or someone or the both of you are praying. Okay. Been doing some soul searching. Someone has been doing some soul searching. I feel someone may be returning for some of you guys wanting forgiveness, actually. <laughs> They've been hiding out and been doing some deep introspection here and trans there's been some type of transformation. Okay. Now, if that is your case, remain objective, listen, be willing to listen to everything they need to say, and then make your decision. But you don't want to, but spirit is saying, don't make it based on uh, your, you don't want to make it based on your emotions here with that king of swords okay yes and you are going through a change if you guys have been feeling alone or isolated your prayers have been heard and change is already happening you're going to come into a more balanced situation and if you've been praying about your finances getting a, a more balanced then um, it will but you've got to also do your part you've also got to prioritize and make sure that you are handling your finances with love and as much respect as you can okay if you know you can't spend your money on something don't or if you know someone's wasting your time don't allow them to waste your time someone's okay the other thing is as i see a lot of you pisces have been calling forth someone that you can just have like long conversations with and that's exactly what i see having great long in-depth conversations here that like it just hits your soul the right way what else see you're coming into peaks of joy and you're just going to keep rising higher and higher I mean, you're shouting to the heavens. You're like being blessed by the heavens. You're walking on clouds or something about clouds and being above things right now, getting a higher perspective and higher view. And if you don't, you will soon just stay open to this. Okay. There's some type of big blissful situation where you're, you know, I'm seeing world card with the completion. I mean, we're celebrating, we're feeling really good and we're in and stepping in we're, we're either in or stepping into a new experience in life where we feel more powerful more strong more joyful things are lighting up and going your way what else okay that's it for those so pisces let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for pisces what does pisces have to look forward to in the near future I'm seeing a vacation or somewhere sunny. If you don't live somewhere sunny, <laughs> just take that if it resonates. Or maybe tanning. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look. Okay. I just have to show you something. This one flipped out. Okay. It flipped out. It's, it's this commitment and it's really, I really wish I would have said the, the, the higher font. Cause that's exactly what I was seeing. Like spirit, God, Jesus, or some type of spiritual commitment that you've been praying for is on its way. So what you have to look forward to is a gift from God here, okay? And also, if you if you don't know everything yet, you will be shown the way. And I am seeing someone who is a boss-like energy, like you, also being shown the way to show others, okay, as a guide. Now, the, the thing that I was seeing, okay, this is what I wanted to show you, was this was like this, okay? So what you have to look forward to is god is bringing um someone it's the it's the magician here and god is giving you guys a lot of power in the channel to utilize your uh, vessel your body in a way that's super magical so magic is working through you and yes something and someone yeah you guys have done some this is a card of rebirth by the way wow and i have that card of rebirth here you're having a whole new beginning and be open to something and someone too. 
Yeah, because you guys are you you got you guys are getting your uh, fulfillment. You're walking away from things that are, aren't fulfilling that you've outgrown here because you're too powerful. This is the thing is that you're you're becoming too powerful, and that's not a bad thing. Okay, it's not actually. I, I wouldn't say you're becoming. You've always been powerful. It's just that you're. It's just expanding, enhancing a, a lot more. Let's just say that. Okay, but yeah, God is bringing you guys something and someone good. Also helping you guys stay focused. So if there's been something or someone that's trying to throw you off path and you can feel it intuitively, spirit is a God. <laughs> Your angels is helping you guys not get distracted off of that either or by that. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you. How is spirit currently helping Pisces? reflection this is the four of swords yeah taking a little time out i feel that you need the time out anyway so don't fight it okay if you can't make things happen as fast as you want uh, then don't fight it just be with it relax into the situation take time to put things on ice you know pause reflect enjoy the things that you have um you know achieved and also the things that you have healed within yourself now be ready to receive your blessings. This is how you stay open to receiving your blessings. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Whoops. Wow, I hit the wrong button, so we'll just try this again. I hope that was helpful. Love and light.